Okay, let's uh, go straight into air terminals and just put a few of them around. Uh, so in the air terminals, we and this should work, of course, because it's um, you know it's geared up for mechanical in the mechanical thing. So um, air terminals, yeah, you get all this sort of stuff here. You get you know how many liters per second it um, it it, you know, it flows and that sort of thing, but. Um, the main thing you've got to know here is that this is an air supply diffuser, so it's pushing air in, uh, and you can also have um, air return diffusers, okay? So we'll go with this one here. Um, here's going to be a supply air. We'll stick one in the middle here. Probably don't want it in the kitchen because it probably, although it'd be nice, it blows things around. Um, apparently it's not a dumb thing, but anyway. Um, and even the laundry, people don't put it in, but I think you need one in the laundry. Um, you, you can seem extremely big, it probably should be, if it's a smaller one, but you can change it to a 300 one, we won't bother. Um, this one here, uh, just drop it in. Here we've got like a ceiling grid, like commercial thing, just to, for something different, that's why it's like that. You probably don't want it in the bathroom or the toilet area, but um, over here, you might just put one uh, somewhere around there, and another one over here, and maybe one in this space here. And then what we'll do is change it to an air return, air, yeah, air return uh, here, <coughs> and um, no, that was zero. Sorry, it should change it to level one, and the other one. Um, if it doesn't show up, change the other one. Well, this one's to level one as well. I think I might have done that earlier. That's why it came up. Okay, so maybe we'll just put that there. And then you know what you do eventually is um, <coughs> add some, uh, you know, the actual uh, unit on in the roof space and connect it up. Uh, with all these things here, if I click on that, um, I can then click on here. So if I go over this little cross here, it says create duct. Um, and you can connect it up to other things. Um, so you can basically connect it to, to the to the unit, uh, which you haven't really got here. But um, you can actually choose what sort of duct it is. This is a rectangular duct, but you might want a flexible one. Um, round duct, segment T, is what is it we're going to choose? No, actually, that's the wrong one. Uh, we want to have, I forgot to here, conduit, we want flex duct. Go from here to the main or something like that, but we haven't got that happening here. So, so right click here, we can go to flex duct. That's probably the better way of doing it. Just right click over that, flex duct, draw flex duct. And that can go from here to to a main duct that you might have in here. We haven't put that in yet. So the best way is to start with the uh, air conditioning unit, which will sit out here. Then you connect that up to um, the main duct that goes through here. So what we might do is perhaps um, drop in a main duct. Uh, where are we? Yeah. Duct flex. Can you go duct? So this one here, you might have a main duct that goes from here to um, in in this area here, and then you connect up these to that. So you, what you do then is um, click on here, right click. Which will do space bar. Yeah, with the space bar, it moves that around so I can easily get it to draw the duct from there. Right click, I just right click over that and go create not a duct, but I want a flexible duct in this instance to go from here to wherever. So just so let's do it from here to here to there, nearest. So it just puts this little tear piece in there for you automatically. Um, actually, I've drawn that at the wrong level, I think. 
I'm not sure what level that is. This is level zero. So let's have a look what we've done in 3D out of interest. Uh, probably nothing exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit, yeah. Actually, that looks all right. I'm not sure uh, that looks fine, actually. Uh, well, not really. The way it looks here is a bit weird. It's because it's got too many, um, yeah, like, it wasn't able to create the flex duct, so you maybe have to move it up a bit like that. So make sure it doesn't poke out of the roof. Sometimes you can get it to it pokes out of the roof. So that's what I've done then. Mm. Alright, so let's go down to yeah, sitting again and we can do another one. Uh, we can. This one's a bit close, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but um, maybe I'll right click it here, draw a flex duct, and uh, maybe I'll just go up a bit before I come down and see if we can get it to go there. Again, always check in 3D because again it's a bit of an issue there, so it's gone sort of really weird. <laughs> um, sometimes as I said, if I just escape that and click on that, I can use this vertex uh, point here to uh, get it to come up a little bit because you just can't create it. So maybe if it looked more like that, as long as it's not poking out of the roof, sometimes it does. So if we look at it from end view, um, from in view it seems to be okay in the roof alright so you can just keep checking there and um, that's what it actually looks like on, in plan and this one here maybe it, it's the wrong position for it as well you might want to say well I might want to bring this down a bit um, so we can get in there probably and a space bar to swing this duct from this end perhaps, right click and draw a uh, flex duct here to there and I'll just do another one here uh, escape spacebar to get this around the other side and right click and draw flex duct See if we can get it in there, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a bit too many T pieces there. Um I to think what I've done there. Um okay, well that one worked, but this one didn't, so I'll escape that and um get this vertex point here and see if we can push it up. There you go. But it's not working over here, so I've probably got too many vertexes here, so or vertices. And um what I might do is actually delete one of them. So if I right click, delete, oh, sorry, control Z, click, right click, um, delete vertex. That didn't really help. But if there's another one here, uh -huh, that's worked now. So had too many points for it, so it's just sort of something you learn to do basically with that. So we've got these to connect up and, and those couple and, and basically done. So that's um, basically it. If I right click, uh, draw flex duct from here to there. And it says uh, the duct has been modified to be in the opposite direction uh, causing connections to be invalid okay so the lead element I'm not sure what that means but let's see if um, I've seen that one before modified to be opposite direction um, probably too tight in there crashing that sort of stuff <laughs> so this is alright as long as it <laughs> goes under but it's you know as you can see it's definitely got a clash here uh, so I want to squeeze in past and what a mess it's like a roller coaster here um, might be able to squeeze it under there anyway that we, it's a bit of a clash there but we'll just leave it for now we we'll leave that up to the, uh, because it's flexible duct at the end of the day, some of those things don't matter because you can just do all that on site. 
Yeah. Anyway, we get the hang, the hang of that bit there. And as far as, you know, really for showing on the plan view where they are in locational, probably done too much. In fact, we probably wouldn't have drawn on that. I'll leave that there for now.